everyone, I'm Keenan 47 aka Wolfkeen, and welcome to another edition of Wolfkeen Talks. Now today on Wolfkeen Talks, I'm going to keep this rather short because, well, there isn't too many things to talk about, so I will try my best to keep this video about as short as it takes to make another Five Nights at Freddy's game. <laughs> First thing I want to talk about is basically Bethesda. As you may or may not know, this year Bethesda is going to be attending E3 in June. So basically, a lot of us are kind of wondering what's going to happen at E3. Are they going to announce a new Elder Scrolls game? Are they going to announce a new Fallout game or something of that like? It was just rumored and leaked that there's going to be a cinematic trailer for Bethesda about Fallout 4. Now, this was a complete rumor and a complete leak. So basically, people are kind of wondering, is this true or not? But it does make sense because look at one year when Bethesda went to E3. They ended their conference with a cinematic trailer to Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. I don't know how many, if any of you ever remember that, but that's how they ended the last time they went to E3. This time around, we're kind of thinking the same thing. They're probably going to end it with a cinematic trailer for Fallout 4, and then later down the line, you know, show an actual gameplay trailer for Fallout 4. Now the thing is, yes, this is a rumor, so it could completely be false. However, apparently, you know, like people at Bethesda and otherwise have been trying to plug up this rumor for the longest. They've been trying their best to try to dissuade that it's just a rumor and it's not real, or this is not a real thing, and they've been trying so hard to plug this rumor that, if you ask my honest opinion, you wouldn't be trying this hard to plug a rumor unless there was some truth behind it. So if you ask me, I think this trailer might be real. As much as they're trying to plug the rumor up, say it's not real or something like that, the more they try so desperately to get rid of it, the more they're just proving that it could be true. So, will we see Fallout 4 at E3? I really hope so, because I really want to play a new Fallout game. I'm a huge fan of Fallout, as y'all know, I've said it multiple times. And I really want to see if Bethesda really does make a new Fallout game. Like, if it's in production and we see a cinematic trailer at E3, I will be amazingly happy. Second thing on the agenda is going to be an MLP related news idea. So as you may or may not know, one of the writers, Amy Keaton Rogers, is actually leaving the writing staff at DHX. The main reason is that she's going to be joining a writing staff over at Disney. So this season, this is going to be her last batch of episodes as of season 5, and pretty much these last few episodes are kind of going to be like a farewell to her. Now, I know people are probably going to ask me what are my thoughts on this topic because, you know, she's leaving the writing staff of My Little Pony. Well, if you ask my honest opinion, I understand completely. Don't get me wrong, I'm going to be sad that Amy Keaton Rogers is going to be leaving, especially since she's my favorite writer, well, one of my favorite writers of the show. But I understand why she's leaving, because let's face it, the fact that she was offered a writing job in Disney, that's pretty cool, because let's face it, Every writer, developer, publisher, video maker, whatever, they always want to strive to do the best they can and always up their game further and further and further, always looking to take more prestigious jobs and always, you know, push themselves to the limit. This is a new sto a new way for Amy Keaton Rogers to get better at what she does and possibly, you know, get her name out there a little bit more. I'm not saying she's going to be the next Lauren Faust or something like that, but... I honestly think that if she goes the route that she's going, this is going to help, you know, like jumpstart her career even further and may even lead to some interesting possibilities. Because if she's writing for Disney, imagine if she writes for certain shows on Disney or certain movies and stuff like that. I'd be completely okay with this. So although I'm sad to see Amy Keaton Rogers leave the writing staff of DHX to go to Disney, I fully understand it and all I can say is... Thank you for all the great episodes you've written for My Little Pony, and thanks for all your time and dedication to DHX, and we will see you on the flip side. Last thing I want to talk about is a couple of miscellaneous stuff. I just started a new collab with someone else by the name of Lightning Bliss. I'm going to be doing a collab with her, and I'm going to be working on the video this week, and I'm probably going to upload it next week. So expect it next week, Wednesday, the video of me and Lightning Bliss with our collab of Appaloosa's Most Wanted. And because, you know, this new this week's going to be a new episode, expect the speed impressions this week, along with some new Let's Play videos. And also, because the, you know, because it's now time, I have closed the poll for my next Let's Play, and it is going to be Soul Calibur 3. I'm going to do my best to get a copy of Soul Calibur 3 for the PS2, and I'm going to play the Chronicle of the Sword mode. However, if I can't get an actual copy of Soul Calibur 3, I'm going to emulate it on my computer using a PS2 emulator. But that's if I have no other choice whatsoever. And that's pretty much all the general updates for my channel. 
With all that said, go ahead and leave your comments down below in the comment section about your thoughts on these topics. So until next time, I'm Keenan47, aka Wolf Keen. Hope you enjoyed, and until next time guys, take care.